Peregrine Beach, Omaha. But remember that before we see Omaha, we are going to see the cliff. Huh? Pointe du Hoc, you knew that. Pointe du Hoc, the Hoc Cliff, H-O-C. Do you see again what were the German defenses on the cliff top? Huh? It's about a 45 minutes drive from here. Then we go to the beach of Omaha. We are going to stop right next to a memorial honoring one of the two American divisions, the 29th Division from Maryland, Virginia. Then we'll drive to the cemetery where we are going to make our longest stop this afternoon. And after that, we are going to drive along the shore, all the, uh, driving by Gold Beach to see the prefab harbor made by the British, and then stopping at do you know, I did not ask if there are Canadians, there are Americans, there are Australians, are there any Austra uh, Canadians with us today? Ah no, okay, I do not, okay, merci. <laughs> okay, you see monsieur, so uh, monsieur from Australia, most of our guests on this tour are from the United States, so sometimes we got a few British, sometimes they come and join us on, on the tour, and sometimes Australians, but again, most of the Australians' battlefields are in the north of France. Remember La Somme. I don't know if our people from America have heard of La Somme, which was a firing line during World War I, June 1916, which was a major firing line where you got most of the British, Canadian, uh, um, Australian memorials at villers Bretonneux. We got a tour uh, going there as well. Huh? and 57 graves huh? again with many different nationalities and british cemeteries as well as the canadian cemeteries are kept up by the uk by england huh? and again what about the goal that is very french again franco-french and i know that the point of view of english americans even anglo-saxon being very different of the one of the french he came back and again, the, t the tensions were to start with the Americans and the British as well. Because again, Eisenhower did not tell him a word about the D-Day. young Germans buried here. Huh? Germans are buried in layers, one on top of the other one, you know, with a black tombstone. So uh, here, this village of uh, Formigny, that, that's the plateau overlooking uh, the ocean. The ocean is on the left inside, uh, which was liberated again by the both the 82nd uh, by the, no, the 29th, excuse me, the 29th American Division and the 1st Infantry Division. Huh? They controlled the area after three days here, the, day, the uh, heights of Omaha. You see all those little churches from the Middle Ages. This one is over 700 years old. It's called St. Martin. We know for Christians, Martin symbolizing charity. Here he is in the tympanon on the right inside sharing his coat. Because huh? you know, uh, you might know the legend of St. Martin sh sharing his coat with a poor man. And in the next night appeared to him Jesus Christ. Martin for Christians symbolizing charity. Huh? Outfitted with the northern, <coughs> north also the kind of obstacles that were concrete tetrahedrons that you can see in the distance. Merci Michel. On the right hand side in the distance. You see stuff that you can see. No, it's the yellow vest are here. Those are just the gardeners. The place, uh, the ground belonging to the United States, it is also kept up by this ABMC, which is a, a commission, American Battle Monument Commission, maintaining all the uh, American memorials in France, but also in Europe. Huh? Yeah. Voilà, so I'm going to show you which way to go, to point you out the bunkers, to talk about Utah, Omaha, then you got a little free time to take pictures. Just for the way around, huh? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Germany. Those ones were made by Schneider, the Schneider company in the southeastern part, southeast of Paris. Have you ever heard of Schneider, the chrono? No? Well, that's a French factory where they used to make the German ones in California. But for sure, made in France. <laughs> so, yes, you see you got Utah, right, right there, right in the middle you got the cliff, and beyond uh, that cliff here you got Omaha. So you see, you land, you understand that? This is part of the Atlantic road. And remember that there were bunkers for uh, guns, so-called face mate. Might be too accurate for all of you to say bunker, you would understand anyway. There were bunkers for guns, and there were also bunkers that were actual living quarters for men. You see how down there were the men working here and they could switch from one place to the gun all the way to the observation point. Thanks to I'm trying to This one is particularly yeah. deep here. Yes, that's a big one. This one was certainly for migration. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah.